everybody! I am Tom and you are watching me play Divinity Original Sin 2 and we're about to enter the Path of Blood. Well, kind of. We're gonna skip the cut Path of Blood by, you know, being the little shits that we are. Uh, so to the left side of the Lucian statue, there is a hidden mechanism, apparently. Uh, so the statue of Lucian is up here. I guess we ha do have to actually go through the Path of Blood properly. But, we need to put on this amulet. Let's go to here and actually go through this place, I guess. Hello, Brother Lyle. Have you come to join us in the endless prayer? Or do you wish to walk the path of blood? Lucian's day wouldn't be the same. I'm gonna take my leave. Um, I wanna actually talk with the Red Prince. Greetings. Or do you wish Lucian's day wouldn't be the same without the faithful gathering to petition for his return? The more voices that join our cry, the better. Inquire about the path of blood. Ah, the path of blood is a, uh, more advanced form of pilgrimage. I would not advise it unless you believe yourself to be free from sin. And trust me, none are free from sin. The path of blood ends in death. For those who attempted, consider yourself warned. Oh, good. I'm a god. Hey, me first. <laughs> Let's give it a quick save, shall we? Something closed the door. Hmm. Sorry, Pilgrim. Out of interest. <laughs> Hello. The ghost stares at her own dead corpse. A single thought emanates from her spirit. But I was pure. There's no shame in imperfection. The warmth of your good wishes envelops her. She realizes the truth. All is well that can be well. Nothing else matters now. She may leave for the Hall of Echoes. I don't understand. I was sure I'd make it. What did I do wrong? Did I commit some sin without knowing? Did I sin by thinking I was pure? Blessed divine, enlighten me! It's poor people. <laughs> They're dead and they don't know why. All those poor dead elves have haunted my dreams ever since the war. Mm. I thought I'd be forgiven. I thought I'd suffered enough. I was wrong. Fuck. <sighs> so he's a warrior in the war. And he came here to... Well, I mean, Lucian released the Death Fog. You think you'd be forgiven, but... One little silver spoon, that's all I took from them. A family like that wouldn't even miss it. I didn't deserve to die because of it. I think everybody dies. I think that's kind of the point. Looking at this, I... I gave away a small fortune to the cathedral and the school that and the poor on the streets. I paid what was owed. I should be cleansed of my sins. Intriguing. The whole affair with that girl happened decades ago. I've led a pious life ever since. Am I really to be judged for all time because of this one indiscretion? He has awesome hair. The hair probably isn't necessarily the correct word, but... Cool. So left-hand side of this thing... There's a mechanism. I guess over here? There. A switch. There. A switch. There's a curious looking panel discreetly nestled upon the wall. Upon it is a lone button. Take a closer look. There's a slot in the center of the button. It looks like something should be placed in it. Try to fit the toy sellers. Send its amulet in the slot. The amulet fits the slot perfectly. The mechanisms around it begin to glow with source. Produce the scroll of a terminal and read it out loud. The button slowly sinks into the wall, as if pushed by an invisible hand. The source fades from the amulet. Consumed by the inner mechanisms of the button. 
Gears turn behind the ancient walls, almost like they're acknowledging the words you spoke. A nearby hatch in the floor unseals it. Cool. And I got the source ammo back. Nice! Um, it's out of charges, but I can charge it up. Not that I necessarily need to right now, but I can, theoretically. Let's go, Lusa! Down the hatch we go. Did I just get one million experience? Um... The mistake I need to find, but I think... I don't know where he is. Like... Report back to Lord Kem. A little late for that now. Um... So we got a waypoint, that's nice. You recognize the approaching child. He is hardly a I found the mistake. His cheeks aren't rosy, but sallow. His smile isn't curious, but crooked. Surprise! You left a little boy to rot in a prison cage, and yet I made it here. What do you say to that, eh? What do you say to that? Note that the cage seems to have been inadequate. You'll have to kill him. Attacking a child? That's dark. And very bad for your sense of I already know this. We had this conversation. So let me help you. I'm not actually a little boy. His voice changes. Becomes deeper. Rougher. Older. This storyline didn't actually work particularly well. Really, I'm not. Say hello to your mistake. A razor smile unfolds upon his lips, but his eyes are gone. The light in them has turned black. Any time he may have had as a sane and functional human is well and truly over. Yes, my lord Lucian, I'm coming. I'll free you. I'll protect you. I'm coming, my lord. I'm coming, Lucian. I'm coming. I'm coming right after I... I'm not particularly worried about this fight, if I'm being perfectly honest. Well, that's one problem solved. Having said that, that did a fair amount of damage. Alright, Loisa. Let's burn some sauce, shall we? How many are there? There's some more around here, but let's do this for now. Oh, that ain't good. Why do you have Dominate Mind? That seems... broken. We could lose here. Don't waste my sauce, you cunt. That's the worst thing, honestly, about... <laughs> The fact that you get mind controlled is the fact that they, like, they use your source. And it's like, how about you don't do that? I think Lucy could probably, honestly, you are a mistake. Stop. Is the Red Prince no longer mind controlled? Apparently not. The stun wore it off.
I need to check his health. Let me check his health. He's fine. I haven't had a turn in like three rounds. <laughs> I'm just, I, I haven't done anything. I was just sitting here watching this play out. Are we going to get a shot with Loisa? Possibly. <sighs> Cryogenic stasis, this man. Jesus. Um... Give him a bloody idol of rebirth back, because he's going to need it. I finally got a turn, so that's something. Um, Alright, so. Adrenaline, because we need it. Guys with bows are fine. They can't do a damn thing to me. Because I'm standing inside a cloud. That'll kill us. I didn't know you could reflect the mark, that's kind of hilarious. The Red Prince is going to get a turn, I think. So is Loisa, she's going to revive. I oh no, he didn't kill her. Alright, so we have a turn at least. Um... Get out of the fire. They're all shocked. Adrenaline. They're both frozen, even though they're standing in fire, which is impressive. Um... He has a lot of sauce. He cast Arcade Stitch, though. Which is a pain in the ass, but I think I can deal with it. That's fine, she'll revive. Well, it's not fine, but I can deal with it. Okay. Apparently I have a source point.
Perfect. Means we can get rid of the fire. Stunned me, really? It's clever. Um, let's give him another target. As horrible as that is to say about my child. But he is another target, that's what he is. Frozen. Perfect. Global cooling. Soulmate do exactly? Oh, okay. Interesting. Being blinded is pain in the dick. Um, alright, so first things first, let's get rid of Blinded. Because fuck you. Um, next... We want to stun him as best as possible. This theoretically should freeze him. Indeed. Um, that should hit everyone. And then we should be able to use rain, which I have. Nope, it's on cooldown. I don't mind if the Red Prince is marked. It is now his shot. So I want to kill Karen if at all possible. Which I should be able to do. That should kill him. I think the dragon is actually immune to fire damage, but, you know. I'm just gonna wait this out. There we are. Alright, so... 
Uh, let's see if his soul is here. It is indeed, and I'm 100% stealing your soul. The spirit of Karan, the great mistake, is lost in insanity. Lucian, I'm coming. I'm coming, Lucian. I'm coming, Lucian. Lucian, I'm coming. Coming, coming. Look into his eyes. Look into his past. The spiritual union is sudden. It sounds and feels as if you have fallen to the sands chest first from the coast's tallest cliff. You gasp, and you open your eyes. You bow to Alexander, as Gareth has said you must. You rise, and the bishop's scepter points directly at you. Show me. He is the master. You are the obedient hound, and he wants to see your tricks. Hmm. Bless him, this is not the time to release your rancor. Alexander's cloak and coronet shine radiantly upon being blessed. His face, however, is numb. He waves you off without a word. He doesn't see your fists tighten. He doesn't see your jaw clench. He doesn't know that next time will be different. Your soul rejoins your body with the same force with which it left. The spirit of Karan looks at you. For once his gaze is crystal clear. Search his soul for remorse. You find instead an ocean of rage, storm-torn and heavy, with great black waves battering the shores of his conscious mind. At the bottom of this angry sea, you find the dark silt of regret. Caron wishes he could have been more than he was. He wishes he could have been the creator. But he was the destroyer, and he embraced destruction, fearing he could be nothing more. And there, beneath the regret, lies the kernel of fear from which all of this rage flowed. Fear that he could not be better. Fear that what he was, was all that he could be. Fear of his own potential greatness. Hmm. Reach into the ocean and pull the fear free. Show it to Karen as it withers in the light. Karan blinks once, twice. Then, the ocean of anger evaporates. The nugget of fear appears in the palm of his hand. He stares at it, turns it this way and that. Then he closes his hand over it and squeezes. When he opens it again, his hand is empty. He smiles at you, lays his hand upon your breast, and gives you a gift, one soul to another, to enhance your talents as huh. you see fit. Then he leaves for the halls. He gives you a talent? Damn. Well, that was worth it. Um, now I've got to choose what talent I want. I wasn't expecting to get another one. Um, I don't really know what I want. Yeah, I have no idea what I want. Ten percent critical chance at full health, not bad. Hmm. I mean, evading attacks of opportunity is good, but I'm not often running away from someone. I'm usually going to use an ability to jump out of the way. Bigger and better is probably not a bad idea. Combat ability and civil ability. Are there any civil abilities that I want? Not really. I have all the civil abilities I want. Combat abilities would be nice. Um, bump Hydro up a bit, but I think I go all skilled up. I don't really need anything here, but I guess I'm just going to give myself, like, telekinesis. Um, <laughs> but it's useful here, and oh, no, Hydro is already at max, so Hydro and Arrow are at max. 
Let's go Scoundrel up, because that ups my critical multiplier. So I'm doing 25% damage extra on a critical. Yeah. So I'm doing 175% damage on a critical. That's pretty cool. And I'm doing it nearly every second hit. Uh, I was- that's unexpected, by the way. I didn't know that was a thing. Um... I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Good find! Okay, so... Uh, let's get our resurrection things back. That was actually a relatively difficult fight. Like, more so than I was expecting. So Laura survived that fight, though, so that's nice. Um, I guess we now eat some sauce. Also loot him, I guess, because he probably has something cool. Alright then. Uh, so let's use this, get up to full. Uh, Losa, you may as well eat this one, because you're standing right here. One more over here. Savor the many faced. So that puts a red prince up to full source. And then Lotus is going to be uh, close to full source. After she eats this one. What is it? Ura the snake charmer. Fucking charm. That fucked me in that fight. There was like a good. I think three turns in a row where I literally could not do anything. And then finally just ate one of these orbs. Losa, so you're up full. Uh, okay. Interesting. That was a fight. Uh, we're sitting at nearly half an hour after that fight, which makes me kind of want to end the episode. Uh, because that was a big kind of fight. But at the same time, I kind of want to continue. Eh, hmm... You know what I will? Okay, what, what I'm going to do, I am going to end the fight, uh, the fight. I am going to end the episode relatively soon, but what we're going to do is we're going to teleport to the Lady Vengeance. Uh, I should have teleported to the Hall of Echoes, is the one I wanted. Got to be careful about that death fog. Let's talk to Jahan. Jahan runs his fingers across his temples and scalp, intermittently squeezing and massaging, as if nursing a severe headache. Adramalik's voice has gone silent. But I'm afraid my recovery will take a touch of time. Not in well past my prime, you know. Not in empathy and ask what's next for him. I have no plans whatsoever beyond dusting my head for crud and cobwebs. After that, well, as long as the essence of Nemesis finds a way to leak into Rivalon. There'll be hunting to do. Cool. Um, you should be able to identify all my shit for me. Oh, whoop. Let's have a look here. That's not what I wanted. Um, nowhere near as good. Warfare, Huntsman, Scoundrel, Wits, not as good. Intelligence, dual wield, not very good. Uh, this I don't care about. Uh, skin graft, I don't care about. I don't necessarily care about a love grenade. They have their uses, but I'm not going to use it. Um, let's also get rid of all of that. Balance out the wager and accept. I don't suppose he has anything particularly good. I think the only things he has are pretty much things that I sold him. No, he does have new stuff. Not necessarily stuff that I want, however. Unfortunately, nothing quite good enough to replace what I have, which isn't unexpected, to be honest. I'll enjoy peace when it's truly mine to have. Um, I'm gonna talk to everyone here. Hey, Almira. You're lucky that I enjoy a bumpy ride, my dear. Our arrival here was vigorous, even for my tastes. I'm still eternally grateful for all you've done oh. for me, of course. Awesome. In fact, here, take this. I suspect you'll find use for it soon enough. Have you ever been to Arx before? This place? No. 
Arx is clogged with divine order lackeys, from what I understand. Fair enough. It's not the sort of town where a girl like me could let her hair down, unfortunately. Quite a landing. I should know better by now than to think we're safe. Anything about Arx? I was stationed here for a short time. There was a strong magister presence back then. A large barracks. A jail. The Whites were based there too, but their dealings were a mystery to me. That's interesting. I heard a rumour once that they had secret chambers built into the foundations of the barracks. That you could hear whispers in the walls at night. But I never saw or heard anything myself. Hmm. Remark that he shows remarkable trust in Elmira. Isn't he afraid that she might enthrall him? A glazed look passes over Mihaili's eyes. He smiles benignly. Enthrall me? Whatever do you mean? Almira is my true love. I've known that since the moment I met her. I'm eternally grateful to be at her side. Yep. <sighs> Luckily, I don't care. Um, <laughs> Many more of those on my okay, so let's talk at uh, Tarquin. You must truly savor my company, Godwoken. Something you wanted? Say so that you know about his involvement with resurrecting Friedemann, or rather, Bracus Rex. Tarquin's jaw tightens. I dabble in all forms of learning, necromancy included. Can you really blame me for being talented? Can you really blame me when I'm forced to use my skills against my will? Can see that it's not his fault. He was indeed forced to bring back Rackus. Dallas willed it, and I was in no position to refuse. She wanted to use Brachus to sniff out the Aetiran, to use a tyrannical king as a personal bloodhound, so she could get her hands on the most powerful purging device the world's ever seen. She thinks she can control him. She is wrong. A creature like him will find a way to break his shackles. He must be eradicated. Interesting. That's why I sought the pieces of Anathema. It's the only thing that can slay him. I remember this now that he's saying it, but I forgot that the reason he wants Anathema is actually an entirely selfless reason. What could possibly best the greatest act of necromancy ever performed? Reversing it. That's what. Here, take Anathema and keep it close. Without it, you are nothing to Brachus. Eh, I don't know about nothing. But I have Anathema. Um... <laughs> Uh, he doesn't have anything of note, I don't think. Eh, not really. It's just shit that I've sold them before. Let's talk to Melody. Hello, my dear. Hurry along now. You'll need to find Dallas. Mm. Care of yours. What was that? Um, that was just repeated dialogue, by the way. We have anathema that does a billion damage. It's unrepairable. These it's brittle, which means it only has one use. But it kills anything, like just dead. So that's something. Uh, <laughs> All right. So that's going to be it for that episode, though. I just wanted to talk to everyone on the ship. Um, I also want to talk to um Gareth, but I don't know where he is. I couldn't find him on the boat last time. And I seemingly still can't find him because I don't know where the hell he's gone. But nevertheless, that's going to be it for this episode. So if you like the video, please have a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And as always, thank you for watching. And I shall see you next time. Where we're going to delve deeper into the, uh, the depths of the tomb of Lucian. See you guys.